So um, this is the title of my presentation today. Um, I'm a member of WFWP Korea. I'm full Korean, born in uh, Korea and married to Korean man. And I lived in Korea for, for my whole life. So please understand my um, short English. But I prepared this PPT with many pictures and images. So I think it's okay for you to understand. Um, but I'm Korean, but I have some experiences in Europe. From 2007 to 2009, I stayed in Vienna for six months and I stayed in London for two and a half years. Um, I was a singer and I did some volunteering activities in Europe. And then <clears throat> I married and have two girls. I visited London for a short time, 2000. Um, 17, and I'm here in Edinburgh from September to December this year. Um, this uh, this this man is uh, my how do I say? Uh, he rented his house for, for me. It's the it's, this picture is my first day that arrived in Edinburgh. So I am in Edinburgh and happy to give a presentation to you. I met uh, President Mitty. Um, the other day in London, and and I shared my uh, project, and she was interested in in this topic, and he offered me this chance to share uh, my research with you. So I'm really grateful for President Mitty and Dr. Bennett moderating this session, and thank you, I'm thankful for all the members, sisters who um, gave this precious time to listen my presentation. I understand I have only uh, 20 minutes, so it's a kind of long presentation, but I'll keep it short. Um, this was a part of my PhD dissertation research, so I followed the academic flow. Uh, first, uh, explain about background of my research area and uh, case introduction, what questions I wanted to explore and a little literature review, what other people already researched for this uh, topic and key concepts and method and some findings. And I'm going to focus on uh, women's activity in this case of list as well, and some conclusions and discussion. So this is a research background. Um, as Dr. Bennett introduced well, um, this is about the rural development of Korea and the period when Semao Lundong was, um, was uh, successful. So before 1960s, the Korea was very poor. So it had uh, very little GDP. It was about $70. It was uh, similar to that of Ghana. So we were very poor after the Korean War. But this is a well-known movement, Semaul Undong, or New Village Movement in 1970s. Their rural development project was very successful. So this period, Korea's experience is famous for like experience of combat of rural poverty. As you see these pictures, this is the flag of the Semal movement and all the village people um, came together and they built the bridge to their own village uh, by their own hands. So, and this Semal movement was successful and because it has a very good strategy, um, I would say they had a a goal that they wanted to make all the rural villages in Korea as a developed village, which means they have uh, three stages of a goal. So from the beginning stages, only 10% of villages are developed. So they call it independent villages, which means they can develop their village by, them, by their own um, capacities. And then second period for these three years, they said the government set a goal that 
independent villages for 40%. And later on, three years, they had to go to the older villages. villages. 35,000 villages will be developed villages. So that was a goal of a government. And I, my case village is one of these independent villages, which means um, they were developed village and they can be a, like um, a place of field study for other underdeveloped villages. So one of these red spots was my case study villages. And this is my uh, case village. I visited this uh, village and I want to say why I've chosen uh, this village as my case, as my case study. Because this village was a uh, developed village even in early 1970s, even before the Semaul Undong was launched in Korea. So this village was famous for field education spot. So other villagers came to visit this village and they stayed like uh, three or four days stayed together. How did they develop their village? So it's a picture of their field education. And then this is a picture of a village leader named Kim kyung -yeol. You can see many prizes uh, in his back. So this village was uh, um, re received many prizes from the government. And this village was a bit special because it has uh, many village enterprises. In Korean, I term it Maul Saopche, which means um, they had their own uh, village business in their village such as straw bag workshop or pumping station or rice mill. So it's just the example of three, but they have many ent village enterprises. And also it was a special village because it has many, um, the record of their village enterprises. So they have uh, village archives. They still have that and it's up to 7,000 pages. So it's the contents of their village archives. So um, when I saw this 7,000 pages of village archives, I thought it's very good uh, material for my PhD uh, dissertation. Um, but it turned out um, I should do, do more research. So I ended up to visit the village and then met the people for the interview. But still it's very special because um, many materials in the village was just disappeared because they moved or they just destroyed because it was not useful for those village people. So this uh, um, archive is very special. This is Songnamal, my, uh, uh, my case village. It's a very small village, only about uh, 100 households uh, live together. It's located in Yicheonshi, Gyeonggi, Gyeonggi-do, near Seoul, uh, here. And then, as you see, this is a big uh, rice paddy area. For So this is uh, the main industry is a uh, rice production. And this red circle area is up to 100 households lived together in this uh, small area. So that means it's, it's easy for to cooperate. So I came to this research question, um, how did the village become a developed uh, village? And second question, I don't um, focus on this. So first is what made this village as a developed village? And I went to a literature review. So what other scholars uh, tried to answer the same questions? And I found that there were three factors of rural village development. First factor was the state. As you see, this is a picture of President Park jong hee He had a very strong will and he really invested a lot for development of rural Korea. That's the first factor. And second is village leaders. There were men and women leaders in each village who were diligent, innovative, and sacrificial. 
they were young, young men and women in the village. That was second factor. And third factor was the village capacity. Um, it's a village people, the ordinary people's cooperation and their own efforts and sometimes sacrifice for by the villagers for the development of their villages. So I will just quickly uh, review this point. Um, it's, uh, it's the limitation of previous studies, which is they only um, emphasize the power of the state. So contribution of village leaders and village capacity was not uh, studied enough. And second limitation is they only focused on development of 1970s, but they didn't pay much attention to development of 1960s and even 50s. And third limitation was, um, if you think of something like, um, how do I say, spiritual or mental, such as village capacity, can be turned into something material or monetary um, outcome as a village development, there must be something in the between, uh, which means something more formalized or more structured form of cooperation supposed to be in the between these um, two factors. So I thought the village uh, business, village enterprises can be the this moderating uh, role for the village development. So a uh, key concept will be two. First is village capacity, which means uh, either human resources or organizational capital or social capital. So that can be defined as a community efficacy or relationship resources, which is like um, social relationships between ordinary people in this village. That was the first concept. And second concept is village enterprises which is um, business, which jointly established, owned and operated by villagers. So this is two concepts. And I want to make this arrow here that because of this social relationships of ordinary people, the economic cooperation and economic development was possible. That was my argument. So, uh, the list and function of village enterprises, there were cooperative shop and rice mill pumping station and women's cooperative shop and three bank, rice bank, grain bank and credit union and straw bag workshop. Um, in my dissertation, I researched, uh, focused on these uh, eight enterprises. So it's about method. I focused on village archives research the original um, materials produced by village people. And I went to visit the village and conducted an oral interview with those people. This was Mr. Bach, my key informant. He was a village secretary from 1977 to 98. So he provided me um, much more information. The, mechanism and operation process of those village enterprises. And one good event happened. Uh, there was a monument commemorating ceremony for the achievement of a village leader. Uh, it's him, his name is Kim kyung -yeol. But he, were, he passed away in his um, early 40s, I remember, by accident. So he died very earlier. But this village people couldn't have a chance to uh, make, like, show their thankful heart for him and his family. Uh, it's his son and his wife. So uh, during my research period, this event was happened. So I was uh, happy to see that. So it, this is a research question revisited. This is uh, how this uh, Songna village, which was very poor become a developed village. So I want to explore the connection from village capacity to village enterprises, which is system of cooperation. 
And also, uh, this is presentation for Women's Federation. So I want to add some information. What was the women's role in this village's development? So my research finding was um, three. So I will briefly introduce these uh, three findings and then introduce women's activities later. So first finding was establishment of enterprises based on previous cooperative system. So to make it simple, it's easy that because of there were um, social activities of youth group and women's group and K, private association, like rotating, rotating uh, private bank. So because of those social activities, uh, it was easy to uh, build their village enterprises. That was a first finding. And second one was face-to-face -face relationship within the village reduced, reduced transaction cost. So I mentioned the three bank, bank was operated in this village because this was a small village uh, with uh, only 100 households. Uh, each people knew each other. They had a face-to-face -face relationship. So it was easy to trust each other and it was easy to make a loan and repay the loan. That's the second findings. And third finding was utilize of Daedongge. So Daedongge was like self-governing body of the village. So these people operate and build their village um, enterprises using the previous self-governing uh, village uh, body. So it was easy for them to set up new business or operate their businesses. It was my three findings and I want to introduce the women's uh, activities. So it was a picture of the uh, Songla Village's women's group. Um, my argument was because there was a previous women's group activities, um, it was easy to set up women's cooperative village. So women's group were active in the 1960s already. There were rice saving movement in 1960s. So because of women had already experience of cooperation, not only social cooperation, but also economic cooperation. So for them, it was easy to set up their new business, which was women's cooperative shop in 1970s. And then when they built their own cooperative shop, uh, the aim or the cause to build their own business was something moral, uh, not economic, uh, which was to prevent the villagers from drinking alcohol too much. Um, because those women uh, had a concern of their husbands uh, who was drinking too much. So they wanted to monopoly, um, how do I say, wanted to monopolize the alcohol selling. So this women's group and women's shop will be the only one place uh, where villagers can buy and drink alcohol. So they can, um, you know, they can watch out their husbands drinking too much and prevent it. I will explain it further later. So first, I will explain about our rice saving movement, uh, which was, this is a process though. So each woman's house, they have uh, this small box or jars in their kitchen. So they were so too poor. So, but still they wanted to make a big seed money for their village and for their family's future. So they, those women took a spoon of rice and collected it before cooking each meal. So three times a day, they set aside some amount of rice. And then when women's gathering meeting, they brought this uh, rice to women's club and recorded it in their personal bank account. 절미 저축 통장, which means rice saving um, bank account. So they made a, a village women's common fund. When they make this common fund, they made it for personal loan. 
uh, when a member need a big money for their children's wedding or funeral or when their children go to the university. So when they need a big money, they can uh, make a loan from this women's common fund. And they also invest for new business. Uh, this was the one of their business, the women's cooperative shop. I explained it before. So this village was small and remote. They cannot, um, I mean, they could go out of village to buy the daily necessities, but it was like one and a half hour by uh, foot. So it is difficult. So those women decided to buy the daily necessities um common as a common goods such as match soap sugar cooking oil or snacks so they bought it and then they sell it at women's shop with a small profit or some villages have their own shop but um for even more small even smaller villages each member's house uh was used as a store by rotation so like January, member A's house will be a shop, and then February, member B's house will be a shop, like that. So they take turns, and then one by one, uh, by rotation, they run the shop. And then again, um, they could make a common fund. And in Songna village's case, um, these women made a investment for water supply facility in their village. So until 1970s, the, this woman used the village uh, wall, well, um, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it well. But as you see that there was a well, but it was, you know, the water digging the hole the deeply and then the water came out. They used it, but this Songna village woman invested a lot. Um, I should uh, find the record again, but I remember the money was uh, 400, I don't know, 4 million won. It's too much, maybe. So it was a very big money at the time, but this woman invested it uh, with their profit from the woman's cooperative shop. So they made this water supply facility in late 1970s. So it was funded by um, women's group. And other villages uh, activities were also very popular. So there was a very famous village, which was Oryuri. Uh, even you can find uh, this video uh, in uh, YouTube. They had a village enlightenment movement by women. So let's make a village with a poverty and let's make a village which uh, where all people live well and let's make a village where we can learn and teach each other let's make a village uh, who village where villagers love their nation and even love their neighbors and love their god so this uh, sort of enlightenment movement was done by women's group in uh, Oryuri other villages and they also run a nursery for busy farming uh, farming season so it was also famous. So oh, I didn't count the time, but I hope it's okay. Mm. Uh, oh, this is my last slide. Would it be okay? Yeah, yeah that's all right. <laughs> okay. So this is a conclusion and discussion. So uh, rural village people in Korea especially 1960s to 70s, they practices high level of cooperation and self-help activities to combat poverty in rural Korea. And, and also women were expected to lead the village development by the Korean government, especially President Park Jong-hee. Uh, he was keen on the women's role for rural development. So, it was his strategy to appoint, like um, to every village should have two village leaders. So one should be a man and one should be a woman. And he expected the women leaders will do the leading role um, who initiate the 
um, development of the village. So, and I concluded that those women fulfilled the role and they were like initiative power to change their village. And finally, many villages in Korea could escape, escape from the poverty. So this is uh, this this is all of my presentation. Thank you for listening my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, I I stop the sharing yeah. my screen. Okay. The oh. song that was really interesting and exciting. Oh. It's uh, <laughs> very. <laughs> uh, it, it, you know, we call resilience. That's real uh, resilience, isn't it? Thinking the way to to save. This is amazing. Every for every meal, to put one uh, spoon of rice, it is not much. It doesn't. It, it doesn't. They don't miss the food. But then, little by little, uh, it can make a lot, right? Yeah. So. Um, if there are any questions or any comments for Dr. Song, uh, please uh, go ahead. You can unmute yourselves, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Bridget? Uh, oh, yes. Affected. Just, just a little comment just uh, to this um, presentation. I just. Uh, uh, also, for me, the cooperation, I mean, the, the cooperation that um, uh, people from the village, they had a very good cooperation and uh, helping each other. And uh, this is what really st stuck to me the most, this kind of a will to go to get um, out from poverty together. And that, that's what I think is a you know, is, I think is, that's what really marked me, stuck me or struck me the best, <laughs> the most. Yeah, we, we know Korean people are very good to bring, to, to do things together for the country or to, to help the country or to help the nation. And they are very good in doing, I feel, to, to get out of their individuals, only individuals. Uh, self. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much. Uh, thank so you. It's very interesting yeah. um, presentation. Yeah, very nice to understand. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really amazing. I uh, can I yes. I also would like to thank uh, Dr. Song. Uh, I think it was a wonderful uh, work you did, and also. Uh, one point that called my attention, of course, is the same thing as uh, Brigitte said, uh, of course, that you realize that an important argument for progress would be the comparison uh, uh, among the villagers. And uh, from that point, then their capacity could boost and uh, they could uh, uh, create uh, enterprises and uh, and develop the village. As uh, before, you came to that point. I was thinking, how? But of course, you explained later on. But before you came to that point, I was thinking, how is it that you uh, was going to measure the level of development, right? Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. and uh, I I think I understood well. Uh, you measured in. Uh, based on the enterprises they they created, right? Oh yeah. Mm. And the fact that they worked together is so beautiful, actually, to see at that time, you know. And uh, in the end, mm. Korea is what it is now. It's amazing. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for your presentation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes, Yes. thank you very much, uh, Dr. Song. I was just wondering about this point you were saying, that they realized that they had to prevent the men, the men for drinking ah. so much alcohol. <laughs> yes. And I was just wondering, because I think this is actually something that women have done 
hundred years ago, more than oh. that, actually in Sweden as well, oh. the alcohol was actually a, a, a very big uh, negative factor uh, in, in Scandinavia. And, and uh, actually the, so, what do you call it, sobriety when people don't drink at all started. How, how did they do? How, what did they do? Oh, what did they do? What did they do to prevent the, the, the men from actually drinking so much? Oh, I see. What they did was um, uh, they they um, they gained the right to sell and offer alcohol in the village. Um, so those men uh, in the village they could uh, drink only within the uh, women's cooperative shop. So that means those women can watch what their husband, how much they drink, so they can co control the husband's drinking. Very That's how it clever. worked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, yeah. Clever, right. It was very popular in uh, like every village, villages, those women take a uh, um, monopoly, monopolize the right to sell the alcohol. I believe women yeah. very strong, strong Korean women, strong in this point. <laughs> to, to be able to, uh, uh, I say, not dominate the husband, but somehow to stop the husband to drink too much. They need some to be, to be, uh, I say, to be confident, to be, to be strong, right? Oh, sure. I think, yeah. <laughs> Were they also the ones producing the drinks, the uh, women from the rice, maybe? Oh, they could do. Mm. Well, the man did that. Man. <laughs> anyway, it was just an interesting point. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Karen. Uh, what is amazing to me that it's a lot is local control. I mean, at least was in the 60s and 70s. Uh, in the West more, uh, it's uh, certainly, I live in the U.S. right now, mm -hmm. uh, like the alcohol in Scandinavia nowadays, it is government control. Here it's private business, but I don't think the wives, they would like to control it, but I don't think they do. But that would be a good thing, you know, to give more local control to uh, every town or every village. Uh, Right now, it's going in the opposite direction in uh, in the United States, for example. So I don't think it's a healthy development. In Finland, also, it's more local control. Health care and education is more locally controlled. So um, I think we could learn a lot. I don't know how it has gone to in Korea since those days. Uh, right. But certainly, I mean, mm. from 50 years ago, but certainly it has proven to be successful that you give the local, especially the woman, and I'm uh, the control of many things, economy especially. And then I'm surprised that Park, the president Park, yeah. mm -hmm. was so strong in encouraging, I mean, I haven't studied Korean history, mm -hmm. and encouraging the woman uh, mm -hmm to take responsibility in a village, mm -hmm. that they had to be a woman representative. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, amazingly how to say forward thinking mm -hmm. already 50 years ago. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Um, if I can uh, uh, add something to this is that actually um, Korean women are very they can be very subdued and very much behind etc but they have a very strong internal power and in the house the woman is the queen that's it everybody listens to the mother or before to the wife and uh, really the husband has to uh, absolutely perhaps outside he He's the, he, he walks the, the traditional way uh, is that the, the man walks first and uh, the woman is one step behind. That's how it should be, the traditional, all tradition, not nowadays. But um, in the house, it's really very different. So 
perhaps it was not um, difficult for the women to say, okay, your ball, stop now. <laughs> your ball means uh, my, my love or something. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's not, you know, it's not simple uh, because of the, the tradition. Uh, yeah, it's tradition, you know, traditional role of men and women was very strong in, in those rural villages. So it was very difficult for women to speak out their voice for, with their voices. But this, I think this period was very special because everyone was so poor. So women should take more responsibility uh, to feed their children and to make money for their family. So women had a practically more special role and they had more power than even now, I think. This period was a bit special and women's uh, activities were backed by okay. President Park's Semal movement. So because of that President Park's support, it was easy for them to speak out for the good of the older village for those women. So I wouldn't say it was um, easy, but very uh, special period that women had a uh, strong power and ownership in this village. I hope it's understood well. <laughs> yes, very interesting, very exciting. Actually, it is um, really, uh, the, the, the life in the village is like a big family. I remember when I was touring the, the villages in Korea, because uh, uh, my own um, thesis was also concerned with the countryside. Uh, I was looking at the traditions that the people were uh, following uh, regarding the ancestors, re regarding all the beliefs they had. Mm. And um, uh, I had to visit all those villages. It was in the, a bit later in the 80s I did my research but the atmosphere was still the same. Mm. Uh, it was uh, really amazing. I was going there, of course, I was a foreigner. Even if I was speaking uh, Korean, I had to be with a Korean person so people would uh, express themselves. If I was trying just by myself, no way. Mm. Uh, still very traditional, very close. And when I was looking at those photographs that uh, Dr. Song presented, really brought me back the, um, the atmosphere, this very close and friendly atmosphere they had. Yeah, it's really exciting because we know the history of Korea through uh, true father's life. Uh, yet now we see it from an, a different, uh, yeah, let's say the, the, the outside, the normal um, ways that uh, they, at that time they were so close so it was a time that um, really Korea was so much um, open to uh, to parents' uh, lifestyle. I feel, yeah. Um, I can I ask something? Yes, <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe I'm not, if, I'm not even sure it's a total question. I believe in the twenty in twenty eighteen, True Mother said in Senegal that this same old Undong movement should also go to some African countries where villages need to develop. Yes. Mm. And I'm wondering when you were saying, and, and uh, you know, your wonderful presentation, how this could be applied, because my impression is from the little experience that I have for, from one particular African country is that mm. those ladies would surely be the key to development. Mm -hmm. They would really need an assistant from outside, a guide, Oh. Even just to teach them better planning mm. and, you know, organized bookkeeping or something like that. Mm. Because one thing that I've noticed, uh, what it seems to me, is that, you know, when you are all equally poor or pretty much equally poor, mm. it can bring out the able type nature in you and it can bring also bring out the cane type nature yes. in you. In other words, you either really stick together and help yeah. each other out mm -hmm. or you steal even from the one who has just one penny more than you and uh -huh. you don't trust the other because you think, what are they hiding? Uh -huh. And I think we've heard from Women's Federation projects 
oh. that the Japanese members have done in some countries, you know, they have to lock the schools where, mm. you know, that they uh, built because even just a sm sm small school, but people were kind of trying to break in and, and, and steal the pencils or something in order to mm -hmm. sell them again to get a few dollars. But <laughs> anyhow, so I'm kind of concerned about some situations. I don't know if it's Niger or some other country. My experience was in Liberia, but I see they need development and I'm too old to go there. And mm -hmm. I don't have any education, but it feels like this is a very wonderful mm -hmm. grassroots level development. Mm -hmm. And in some countries, I think like Ghana, it was the women who built up the economy, but some other countries, they need so much help mm -hmm. to get going. And then once they get going, maybe they can teach others. Anyhow, mm -hmm. I feel kind of inspired, but I'm thinking how to translate this into, mm -hmm. you know, the development of Africa, mm -hmm. right. or African countries or societies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very important question. Um, I think it's somehow beyond my uh, experience and knowledge, but I I try to answer. Um, I think many there are many effort to import so-called import this Semai movement to Africa or other Asian countries. But um, I heard it is not that successful as we expected because it's uh, highly depend on the context and culture of that country and that village. So mm -hmm. it is very difficult to, to implement, implement this Semai Rundung to other countries so, so far, the, there, there are many tryouts, but I don't see, I don't think personally, it's not that successful. Korea government also funded a lot to um, export Semarundung to other countries. But I think the key is the local culture and local context of the people. They must have had the, some sort of cooperative experience of their own culture. So if um, some outside people try to really explore what they will already had, and then try to connect their previous experience to this Semal movement, and that then might be successful. But otherwise, it doesn't um, work, I think. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay. I knew it would be an exciting uh, <laughs> evening today. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can I still ask one thing? So there must have been also local women leaders that were willing to take on the development there, like starting the stores and the banks. And mm. I find it very, very, I mean, very wonderful ideas, but there must have been, the, like you said, the tradition, mm -hmm. previously some cooperation and also yeah. women leaders to take on the leadership uh, in spite of maybe some traditions where the men decided everything. So do you think Korean women are more <laughs> suitable to that or the culture uh -huh. allows it? The culture allows it. Mm -hmm. And that particular situation did allow mm -hmm. it. Mm. Wow, that's a um, difficult question to answer, actually. Um, I think there is uh, something special for Korean mothers. It was especially in this period, the, like, how do I say, the, they want to, they have a, has a, had an aspiration to educate their children well. That was something that Korean mothers had. So when they wanted to make a big seed money, it was for their children, for their children's education, for their children to send the soul to be educated better. That kind of a strong um, willingness was something special this Korean women had in this period. Um, otherwise, uh, we had a long uh, tradition of K, which is like um, rotating, how do I say, rotating credit system to like uh, small friends. They gathered and they made a small money. 
with that uh, seed money, they lend it and repay with the interest. They make bigger and bigger money. This K tradition is all Korean new and it's still active in, in my village with my friends. So that experience of um, economic cooperation and interdependency was something similar to Korean people, actually. So in, so in that means Korean village people had had some sort of cooperative experience. But other culture may be similar uh, system, no? Uh, that like, making small money and yeah. big money. I know in Africa they do as well. I mean, women uh, among them, they, they meet yeah. each other. Even here in France, we have quite a few uh, African women where they meet each other and this oh. kind of way they they call it la tontine. So I don't know how la it tontine. is in English, but la tontine, yeah, it's called like oh. this. Yes. And in this way, they, with this money, it's a kind of a seed money, they can mm -hmm. do something. Mm. Oh, African. Uh, interesting to know. Yeah. Oh. Cola tontine. Yeah. Cola tontine. Um, I would like to say something. Um, I don't know really the, the details of the Spanish development, but of course, uh, they must have worked hard. I'm in Spain now, I'm not Spanish. Uh, mm -hmm. So I don't know everything about that time, but the, they had a civil war in the thirties. Mm -hmm. And after the civil war, mm -hmm. when the fifties came, they were pretty poor, the Spanish people, very, mm -hmm. very poor. And uh, of course, with uh, good decisions by the state, they started to develop and uh, and of course they are now a developed country but i'm sure i i don't i don't know exactly the details and i don't know how similar or different they are they were from the korea's example but uh, mm -hmm. there must have been a cooperation and uh, mm -hmm. and sport especially at the at those beginning times right mm -hmm. after the war but i think maybe the women's position was not I, I maybe i can i can say that it was not the same as you you can find or you could find in the villages in korea mm -hmm. men worked hard and women worked hard in the house in spain oh, okay. yeah but uh, in that sense different from the women's uh, experience in Korea, yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. I think it is interesting also to read all those messages that are coming. Oh, yeah. People don't participate, but um, uh, mm. okay. Oksana, she says, a wonderful example of cooperation. It can be applied even to a so busy city like modern London to support each other looking after mm -hmm. kids or picking them up from school to create a friendly community. Indeed, there are so many things. We, we have these examples like uh, uh, it can be like a home church event. Uh, and um, Christine, mm -hmm. Um, I wonder what she thinks about uh, what you think, Dr. Song, about what uh, Reverend Moon says about this movement in the 60s and 70s. In his mm -hmm. biography, he says that he, it wasn't the state, but the unification movement that started this, that started the Sema Lundong. Yeah, actually, you can talk to us about the connection, how to Father uh, connected also with Dr. Lee. Um, yes, um, there are actually many um, stories of many versions of stories, how this Semaul Undung was started. And I think in this academic field, maybe um, Father Moon's influence um, could be a case, but it is like one of the possibilities how this movement was um, started. But there were a very powerful, powerful case of a person, which uh, he is Mr. Han. 
So Mr. Han was uh, Father Moon's um, disciples, and he created a group farming place, which is Nongdoan. So mm. Nongdo, the name Nongdoan uh, was given by uh, Father Moon, and Father Moon mm. gave a direction to make this uh, village uh, for a experiment for group farming. So it is true that Nongdo one was there, and uh, Mr. Han, uh, who was the leader of the group farming village, were working with President Park for Semal movement. So later on, he he got a how do I say? It's not prize or funjang. Uh, the um, uh, award awarded by President Park. So we could find his name uh, in the the list of the awarded. Uh, people. So there is a high possibility that uh, True Fathers, um, uh, Father Moon's work for experiment for group farming can influence to present Park's plan. Uh, but we, we cannot prove it, you know. Yeah, high possibility there. Yeah, certainly. So one last we we already reached our uh, one hour. Uh, one last comment from uh, Krista. Uh, the idea of microcredit seems to be similar and has done much good mm -hmm. in many places. Actually, uh, we know that our um, uh, WWP uh, Japanese volunteers they have organized microcredit systems everywhere in many places: Africa, Middle East. Uh, as far as I know, maybe maybe a, the rest of Asia. I don't know. Yeah, especially the yeah. No, indeed, we we are trying to develop. It's it's very much up to the um, desire and the energy of the the women, isn't it? Mm. All right. We perhaps we will have to uh, end our meeting here. We're going to thank very, very much, uh, Dr. Song, Fajin, and uh, also all of you being here and so interesting, so interesting. And maybe this can start another uh, discussion about how um, we can ourselves, we need to be de to develop, we need economic uh, <laughs> support always, we need to develop our economy, even as a movement, in different places, uh, in, I know for myself in the, in the Middle East, we would like to have funding to do things, but then it's not like the other uh, organizations who have a central funding and the NGOs, they have lots of uh, fundings and stuff, but we need to, to, be, to, to be inventive and find ways to develop. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Yes, okay. I want to say something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to say thank you for this um, warm, welcoming uh, atmosphere and many um, deep and insightful questions and remarks. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Song. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. And thank you, everyone. And thank you, Miti, for yeah. uh, thinking of all that, of setting it up. <laughs> the new IVP of Europe. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sounds so thank, great. You. thank you very much to thank everyone. You. Have thank a good you. evening, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.